Hey guys, I've got amazing news. Another one of my puzzles has been mass produced and I'm eager to show you this. I just received the samples, so here we go. So here it is. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was expecting to receive one package, but it turns out for some reason they sent it in 10 separate packages. Which is kinda weird, but I'll take it any day. So let me show you, I unboxed one package already and this is what I received. So I'm gonna open that and let you see which of my puzzles has been mass produced. So, let me get that cutter right there. Perfect. And this is the first time that it happens, but my logo is on the box and not just on the puzzle. Last time I had the lattice cube, uh, I had my signature on the puzzle, and the time after that it was with Eden's Megaminx 2x2. They didn't even put my name on the puzzle or anywhere, and they never paid me either, so that was pretty. That was a pretty bad experience. But this time it's Yuxin, and they are really, they're a really great company. And they actually put my logo on the box, so here it is. It is the multi-cube that was mass-produced, and that is great, and I'm so eager to try and turn it. Wow, okay, so this is uh, multi-cube right there, it says it. Um, and there's my logo on, on the box, and that is great, and that's, that's a really good thing for my channel, I think, because if someone buys it, they're gonna see the logo, and that, that's really helpful, so that's amazing. Uh, Alright, so let's see, um, let's open this. I'm not even sure, okay, this is where you open this. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful with that one. That's the first one I'm trying. Um, I'm gonna try to show you the different colors that I got, so this uh, video is gonna be separated in different sequences. But first, I wanna show you this beautiful puzzle. And look at that. There's the Yuxin logo, and there's also my logo on the puzzle as well. Let's see if I can focus on that. All right, perfect. This looks beautiful. And the good thing is they actually use the black on white uh, logo on that side, and on the box they use the white logo, so it looks it looks really really cool. All right, so first turns. Oh, this is great. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited. This spins so amazingly well. Oh wow, I was not expecting it to turn that well. I I actually have the 3D printed version. Well, I don't have it right here because it's somewhere lost between the po between Poland and the United States. Uh, it was in the Puzzles Around the World project, but for some reason the package got lost. Um, but this one is just incredible. Wow! Oh, the turning is great. There's corner cutting, like really good corner cutting. Like excessive corner cutting, like I, I can corner cut like this. It spins so well. Okay, so let me show you, sorry, I didn't even show you the concept, I'm just so excited right now. So what this puzzle is, is actually um, a combo between a dino cube and a master cube. So when you turn the outer master cube, you see that the dino turns along with it. And in the end, you get the outside that's not scrambled the same way as the inside. For example, here, where you see that the blue and blue parts right there are, uh, you know, paired up with white parts. So, basically you have to solve two different puzzles at once, one that's in the middle and one that's on the outside. So the core is actually visible through the centers and, and this, is, this leads to two different puzzles. There's just one slight damage sticker, I'm just gonna put that right back. Um, so this is one of the prototypes, uh, it's absolutely incredible. This is, this is amazing, like I, I, I don't see high, like quality puzzles of that type usually, like when there's a, a shells mechanism, which means multiple layers of mechanism, one on the middle, on the, on the inside and one on the outside, it doesn't necessarily spin that well, and this one is just great, it's high quality, and I, I was really hoping out of all my 3D printed puzzles that this would be the one to be mass produced because I've always found it to be so aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, I'm really thrilled that they mass produced this one in particular. This is incredible. So just a small interruption to show you the different types of multi-cubes that there are. There's the black one, I got 10 of those. And by the way, if you want one signed, I can send you one signed. So let me know in the comments below if you do. Um, so there will be an unlimited amount of those on the market. Uh, the second one that I got is the white version. Now if I'm not mistaken, believe it or not, this one will not be sold. So there are only two copies of that in the world. The next one is similar to the white. This is a natural color. It's a bit yellowish. And there's another one that's slightly more yellow. Uh, both of these will not be produced as well. 
Uh, but I thought it was kind of cool to show them. This one's more of a beige color. Um, then I've got the green one. I think that one's really, really cool. Um, so you've got all these sides. I think the green on green is could have been better. Maybe a black on green would have been nice uh, for this color. But I, th I still think it looks really great. And this one will be sold. There will be just a hundred copies. Now there's another one. That's the red one. Uh, this one will also have a hundred copies uh, for sale. Uh, this is a limited edition as well. And I think it looks really stunning. So that's great. Then there's another one. Uh, this one is Unlimit is uh, actually a limited edition as well, but there will be 200 copies, not 100. Uh, it's a light blue color, and I really like it. Uh, I think it's it's a nice color. Um, then there is the pink one. Now that one's uh, that one's kind of special. It's not really my type, although it's kind of fun. So I think I'll, I'll keep it anyways. Uh, there's only oh no, there's 200 of those as well. Uh, so if you prefer pink puzzles, <laughs> go for it. Uh, it's pretty funny, so yeah. Then there's the blue one. Believe it or not, uh, this one would have been, in my opinion, one of the contenders for limited edition runs, but this one will not be sold, so there's only two in the world. Obviously, I'm keeping mine. And the final one is my favorite, and I specifically asked for it to be mass-produced. Uh, it's the purple one. This is uh, my favorite color, actually, and I think it looks really great. And I'm really glad that they accepted to make 200 copies of that. So this is also a limited run, and I think it looks really great, so, so that's awesome. Uh, also, they sent me some extra cores. I've got plenty of those. I think that's, uh, that's going to be useful to test my next puzzles um, and potentially offer mass-produced uh, puzzles to them. Well, or at least designs that they could mass-produce. And I've got extra stickers as well, so that's pretty cool of them. And um, I'm really glad I got everything. So I'll let you see the rest of the video right now. So also, it's been great working with them. They're a really good company, and I, I think I, I will work with them again. I've actually sent them three different puzzles already, so, so I look forward to seeing what I can collaborate with them on. Uh, also, the plastic quality looks quite good. Um, I actually work in a company uh, that often uses... Um, you know what, I'm gonna scramble this while I explain that. Um, I, I work in a company that uses uh, molding and over molding on metallic components and I know that uh, this plastic is of really high quality and the finishing is perfectly smooth so I think they did a really great effort on the molds and that's a good thing to know because I, I trust this company even more when I know this so so that's great alright so whoa, I'm scrambling this this is great I love how they put my logo on the box and the puzzle. There's a real, a real respect for the designer, and I think that's something that was missing, uh, especially in my collaboration with um, with Wit Eden, which is, in my opinion, a really bad company. Uh, I had a good experience with Calvin's puzzles as well, uh, but Yuxin has been really open with everything that they do. They've they've kept me in the loop with every single f aspect of the project, and it results in a puzzle that's absolutely on par with what I would expect from, from a, a company, a toy company. So it's, it's amazing. Uh, Alright, so here we go. This is what it looks like scrambled. So, as you can see, the inside is scrambled completely differently to the outside. There is just one common piece, and that's the one right here. Let me see if I can show you that with, uh, with my screwdriver. This piece right there is the same here and here. So this edge piece here is the same as on the inside. So you can see the red and the red here, blue and blue, white and white, green and green. This is the only part that's linked to the core because the mechanism actually uh, holds the rest of the parts onto, you know, it's like the rest of the parts are hooked onto that piece and that piece is fused to the piece on the inside which is then hooked to those parts that are screwed in. That's how the whole puzzle holds together. So, so yeah, this is uh, the mass-produced multi-scube, uh, and I will make a solving video of that, explaining how you do it right after I film, finish filming this. And in the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, this puzzle and this video. Uh, there's even a stand that comes with it, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked it, and if you did, feel free to subscribe. I will be releasing many more 3D printed puzzles, and hopefully some more of mine mass-produced. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video, and feel free to like my social networks in the description below. Thanks for watching.